Welcome to another episode of Beginning Linux. Today we are going to go over what a distro is. A bistro? No, not a restaurant. Alright, so what is a distro? Well, a distro is kind of hard to explain, so I'm just going to read a Wikipedia article. Wikipedia is the best thing ever. Anyone in the world can write anything they want about any subject. So you know you are getting the best possible information. A Linux distribution, often abbreviated as a distro, is an operating system made from a software collection which is based upon the Linux kernel and often a package management system. Linux users usually obtain their operating system by downloading one of the Linux distributions which are available for a wide variety of systems ranging from embedded devices, impersonal computers, to powerful supercomputers. Thanks Wikipedia. Basically, a Linux distribution is a Linux operating system that uses the Linux kernel. Now, this definition is kind of broad because some may argue that Android is a Linux distribution, while others may argue that it isn't because it lacks GNU components such as glibc. Anyways, let's talk about some examples of Linux distros. A distro can be independent, or it could be based on something else. A distro can come with a desktop, or you could build it yourself with your own packages and desktop. And there are tons of different Linux distros with tons of different features. Now, let's look at some examples of distros. I'm going to make a separate video on choosing a distro where I will go into these more in depth, but let's just look at uh, six of them just so you have an idea of what they are. Debian is a Linux distro designed to be as stable as possible. It tends to have older packages and older applications, and it isn't very beginner friendly, but once you get it running, you will never have stability issues. Ubuntu is a Debian based distro designed for beginners with newer packages and extra features such as PPAs. Linux Mint is based on Ubuntu, but it's even more beginner friendly with its own desktop, software center, and it's just very stable overall. And it's great for beginners. Arch Linux is a distro that starts with an MS-DOS-like command line, and you have to build it yourself with custom packages and features. You get to decide what's in your distro, and you know always what's in it. Manjaro is basically Arch Linux, but with slightly older packages to make it more stable, and it's more beginner-friendly compared to Arch. Fedora is a distribution designed with bleeding-edge packages and technologies, and it's got very new packages, but it's not rolling release, which means that it's going to be very stable despite the packages that are new. Now, those obviously aren't all of the distributions, there's hundreds of them, maybe even thousands, but when I think of Linux distributions, the first thing I think of are those six. Overall, you might have a hard time choosing a Linux distro, but Linux gives you a choice between what you want. If you want stability, you would go with the Debian's or the Ubuntu's. If you want bleeding edge packages, you would go with the Arch distros, and there are tons of other distros for different use cases. 